book of Zechariah chapter 14 of verse 12 and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem their flesh shall consume away 
while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutation. Let's get it abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakudash, Brak, Dum, to use a quanium, Waaki, Wankwaf, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole for elect, out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence. To make your calling and election sure. And of course, keep in faith in Heavenly Father Yahweh and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior and our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Peshai, Ban Yahshua'ah. Let's be a quick lesson through the spirit of Pav Yahweh Bashim Shai. On this shall be the plague, man. All right. The second death, the lake of fire. Judgment. All right. That's coming to America, Babylon the Great. Right and throughout the world, but the only thing is, America gonna get totally wiped off the face of the earth, man, and never built back up. It'll be a no man's land, a desert land, all right, with nothing but Komodo dragons, owls, okay, scorpions, all right, gonna be dwelling here. You see, so everyone in the soils of America, Babylon, and Great will die if they're not of the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? And how are they going to die? They're going to get melted, all right? This guy's Isaiah 54th chapter. I'm not going to do too much talking straight to the point. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse uh, 16. Behold, I have created the smith that blow of the coals and the fire. A smith is someone that makes weapons, all right? And that bring forth an instrument for his work. I've created the waster to destroy. Now, the modern day Smiths are what? The scientists, all right? The wise men, the teaming, the German scientists, right? They're the ones that split the um the atoms, came up with the atom bomb. And, and now things got more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, it went from the atom bombs to the nuclear bombs now. And now they have certain missiles, hypersonic missiles. Missile could come to America in 15 minutes from Russia. All right, all these different things. So the ICBM nuclear missiles, all right, is what the Heavenly Father is going to use, all right, to bring the ultimate judgment of fire. And America will be that lake of fire. And guess what? Even those that die, they're all going to raise. Let's get that in Revelation 20th chapter. All right. So no escaping this. All right, the only ones that are going to escape is those that got faith in works. Second urges to what's that the seventh chapter? No, I think that's the ninth chapter and verse seven on down, which are the elect, those that were sanctified from the beginning. All right, Revelation 20 and verse uh, straight to the point. Hmm, <clears throat> so chapter's good. 12 it says, And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before the Most High, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. So what you're doing is what you're doing is side is, is um is vital to your salvation. Okay, whether it be good works or evil works. All right, you have a lot of our people, Israelites, so-called blacks, Latino Native Americans, that's walking around doing nothing but evil works. All right, not even trying to serve Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Right, they're justifying their wickedness. All right, and the scriptures literally say that wants them that that um. Justify the wicked and condemn the just. If we paraphrase in that scripture, it's another one that says one to them are called evil good and good evil. All right. So the heavenly father Yahweh Bashim Al Shah sent forth his prophets to warn of these things is coming. Now that's the ultimate, you know, um judgment, the ultimate plague, the ultimate sword. All right, which is gonna be the missiles, right? The lake of fire. All right, because the first world during the time of forefather Noah ended with what with water. So the most high, you know, he's a perfect balance. All right. He's a, um, a power of balance, a God of balance. So the second one, the second death is going to be about fire and both water and fire are cleansing mechanisms as it's, it's ways, it's, uh, basically purging. You can clean things with water. You can, you can purge things with fire. All right. So the Lord had to do that same thing to the old world by way of water. And now this time we do it this time, this way by fire. When that fire comes, man, 
people gonna be having them thoughts like, oh shit, I should have got, I should listen to the prophet, should have got my life together, should got it right with the Most High Yahweh Shemal. Sure, I should have repented. All right, I should have put down the weed. I should have put down the shrimp, crab, lobster, pork. You know, I should have stopped celebrating my birthdays, holidays. Okay, I should I should have put my dreams aside and and chase Yahweh Bashim Al Shah because this is the time that we're in right now, man. All right, a time to repent, a time to um, return back to the Father. That's what we preach. We preach repentance. All right. So if you hear this, we watch this video. All right, and hear these words through the Spirit and Papi Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. It should behoove you to repent. So you don't have the taste of this of this plague, man. Let's read on. So it says, and the dead were judged out of those things which written in the book according to their works. So whether your works were good or evil. So Lord willing, our works be good. All right. That's why we pushing the videos. Week in a week out, go to the highways and the byways. We repent, we pray, we fast. And we know we're not perfect, but we're trying to serve Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right. We're made perfect through Yahweh Shai, being covered in his blood. Lo willing, we're part of the elect. Let's read on. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell. Deliver up the dead which are in them, and they will judge every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. All right, now, right quick, you know, famine is coming, all type of race riots and wars, cannibalism, martial law, all right, Jade Helm projects, all these different things, EMP attacks, cyber, all these things about to come to America, Babylon, great into around the world. It's all, all hell and chaos. All right. So a lot of people are going to die. You see, they're going to starve to death, all type of things. And that's also second Elders 16 chapter where it says those that escape the hunger shall, shall the sword destroy. And the ultimate sword is the missiles. But in any event, even those that die, the Lord going to raise them up and throw them here in the lake of fire. Because the lake of fire will be America. He's going to throw them here and they're going to melt. OK, death and hell will cast at the lake of fire. You see, this is the second death. So you're going to get judged according to your works, whether you're alive or dead. You see? So that's why you can't, in the scripture, say that so you cannot skip the Mosiah in neither life nor death. All right? King David said, you know, wherever I go, you're there. Eleazar said the same thing, you know, in, in, the, book, in, the, in the book of Maccabees. All right? When they tried to get him to eat um, Alec, he was eating pork. All right? He basically said, I can't skip the head of the Almighty. Verse 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life... <laughs> So if you're not a part of the elect, those written in the book of life are the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. So if you're not one, if you're not an Israelite, you're done. Two, if you're not um, of the elect of the nation of Israel, you're finished. You see, to be a part of the elect, scripture what? Put on as the elect. What will the, what will the elect be doing these last days? Praying, fasting, repenting. All right. Returning back to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You know, trying to be a better um, Israelite man. Trying to be a better Israelite woman. You see that? It says, and ultimately it's all predestination at the end of the day. But it says, and whosoever was not found written in the, in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. This shall be the plague. Look at the book of um, 2 Peter 3, verse 10. And we actually we can start up some, as a matter of fact. Let me see. So chapter's good. Trying to get the point. Um, let me see. Right, here. verse seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. All right. Let's jump down to verse ten. But the day the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and it's gonna come like a thief dude, when this time come because they show this in different movies, but um. Even um like the the different missiles they got now could reach America fifteen minutes. So when you get that alert that a missile, not just one missile, all right. The scripture going to um I may have to pull that up right quick. Let me see. And also draw the third chapter or the second chapter goes out. They go break their ranks. Um, and we look something up very fast. Slaki Akim. I think two hundred thousands, thousands, something like that. Let me see. Bear with me, Akim. I'll find his preset. Revelation 9. Yep. <laughs> Revelation 9 chapter. All right, let's get that right quick. Go back to 2 Peter. Revelation chapter 9. All right. And verse 16. Matter of fact, let's start at verse hmm, 15. 
And the four angels were loose, which are which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and heard the number of them. You see that? Two hundred and now, and that's going to the missiles. All right. The ice beam nuclear missiles, man. All right. And what's gonna make cause when you look it up. I'm gonna ch check this very quick, Salakia. Yeah. All right, how many warheads? Let me see. I'll just type this right here. All right, this is it says Trident is a British nuclear weapon system. It is made up of four nuclear submarines. Each sub carries up to eight missiles on board, and each missile carries up to five nuclear bombs. Or warheads on the top you see that so each one got like five on them you see so it's man and that's this, this is a trident one it says the try on the trident missile let me see let me go back and type to notes in right quick so like and let's look this up right here it says how many warheads in a missile right each missile can carry up to 14 warheads okay let me see, son. Let's type this right here. Now, what is a warhead? The section of a missile containing the explosion, chemical, or in uh, sedary charge. So, the explosives. So, up to 14 in each missile, man. So, that's why St. John Revelator, he, he saw the army of the horsemen, which are the, the missiles, were 200,000, thousand, man. Okay? And he said, I heard the number of them. So that's something that man, listen, man. Let's read on. And thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of I meaning like power, and out of their mouths issue fire and smoke and brimstone. It's the missiles. That's what it's talking about. The ice beam of the missiles. But these three, uh, but these three was the third part of the men killed by fire. And by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths okay for their power is in their mouth and in their tails for their tails were like unto serpents and had two heads and with them they do hurt man all right what he's seeing right here is an ice beam nuclear missile and he's describing it all right in the spirit you see that let me see and that's what i want to get on that all right I was going to want to get on that. So let's go back to 2 Peter. 2 Peter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. When that when the missile get shot off and land, you know, make impact, that big kaboom. Alright? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything is made of elements. I mean, everything is made of elements. Esau even even Esau has something called the table of elements. Alright? It's gonna everything gonna melt with fervent heat, man. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Alright? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So understanding this, what manner of person should you be? You should be trying your best to please Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father in the name of his only begotten Son. Verse 12, looking for and hasting to the coming of the day of the Mosai. Wherein the heavens being on fire should be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right. So that's what's coming to America. That's what's coming to this world. Fire, brimstone, death. Malachi 4 verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Save the Lord of hosts, that it, should, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So that day going to burn like an oven, man. Right? And ovens were hot. Ovens are hot. The ovens in the ancient world, too. Like uh, in Daniel, right? When they threw the, the Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego in a, in a fiery furnace, the men that threw them in there died. They, they got burned to death. All right? That's how hot it was. But, you know, of course, we know the story. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they, they didn't get hurt of that because the Lord delivered them. And how the Lord going to deliver the elect as well in these last days. Look at Second Edges, right? I believe it's the 16th chapter. 
And we're going to start at verse, let me see, 13. It says, for, for strong is his right hand, Yahushua, that beneath the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp. Those are the missiles. And shall not miss. They're not going to miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. And they show that in all type of movies. I'm thinking of um, the TV show, The 100. Um, knowing. All right, that fire that came. It's another one. Um, ah, set my mind. But it's the movies where it shows like the, the missiles literally getting shot to the ends of the world. Okay. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again. And so they come upon the earth. The earth, the, the fires can do it. It shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth, man. You see that? So that fire, that brimstone, and that's also Genesis 19 chapter, how the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, and it was supposed to be an example to those that, that actually live on Gali. All right, and what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? They, they got burned by fire and brimstone, and brimstone, one of the elements that make up sulfur. All right, so I'm like, um, yeah, sulfur is found in brimstone, if I'm not mistaken, the same element that's found in these uh, nuclear missiles. It's the, the element sulfur, all right? So that, basically that same fire that guy came to Sodom and Gomorrah is coming in, in this age, in the form of the missiles, man, straight up. It's the same fire. All right? Let's get Isaiah 13 chapter. Get a few more. So this shall be the plague, man. So you better repent. Isaiah 34 and verse... Man, oh man. Service 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear and all the all that is therein, the world... In all things that come forth of it, for the indignation of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them, he have delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Now watch this, and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. The heavens were rolled together as a scroll, the mushroom cloud. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off the vine and as a fallen fig from the, from the tree, from the fig tree. Now, we look at like the, um, the fallen figs from a fig tree, right? It looks like it, go, it goes up a little bit and it comes down. And that's the missile. They got to get, they got to come up, go out of the out atmosphere to come back down. You see that? Verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia is a Greek way of saying Edom. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of kidneys, with the, uh, with the fat of the kidneys and of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Bajra, in the mighty Bajra is America, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. So it's ultimately going to be here in America that this fire is going to totally rock <laughs> all right and the unicorn shall come down with them and the bullocks with the bulls and their land shall be soaked with blood and their dust made fat with fatness for it is the day of the lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of zion like i start off as i read the 14 chapter says this should be the plague with the lord which is all the people that fought against jerusalem this for the this all this ultimately for um because the lord gonna deliver us you know his people all right, and judged all the heathen nations, mainly Esau, Edom, that harmed his chosen people. All right, so this is for the controversy of Zion. You see that? Let's read on. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall be, uh, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. It shall not be quenched, nor it shall not be quenched night nor day. So it's gonna burn for a long ass time. The smoke thereof shall go up forever, I mean for a long period of time, from generation to generation. It shall lie waste; none shall none shall pass through it forever and ever. So it's gonna be no man's land. All right. Salakia. Let's read on. It says, "But the cormorant uh, and the bittern shall possess it; the owl also, and the raven shall dwell in it." And, he shows, and it's still going to after. So after the fire dies down, that's how you know it's going to burn not literally forever because how can, you know, um, owls and um, different, you know, um, creatures, you know, scorpions, so on and so forth, dwell, you know, here if it's still burning forever, all right? So it's going to, at the period of time, it's going to die down, all right? It says, and shall stretch out upon the line of confusion 
and the stones of emptiness. Let me see. That's the point I really want to get. This whole chapter is good. All right, it's going, <laughs> it's going to that destruction that's coming. All right, but I want not from here. I want to go to Isaiah the thirteen chapter. Same, the same, the same thing, but it's a little shorter. Isaiah thirteen, verse nineteen, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, and the the beauty of of the child. Sorry, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? Fire and brimstone. All right. So ancient Babylon got uh, taken down by Darius, Darius the Mede, all right? If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was, it was Darius, all right? That took down um, the Babylonians. So the, the ancient Babylonians didn't go, about, go out by fire. Neither did um, the, the Tower of Babel, going further back to the time of Nimrod, all right? So what Babylon is talking about? America, all right? Which another um, another word for Babylon is um, Marathiam, where the word mer means bitter, or right, mar means bitter of a harlot's cry, and that's going to um, America. All right, we go into that word mar Marathiam. See that? So it's talking about Babylon. Let's read on. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt for generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be, shall be full of doleful creatures. The owl shall dwell there, and the satyr shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in the desolate houses, and dragons in the pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So this is going to happen very, very soon, man. Right? That destruction, that fire, that brimstone. So this shall be the plague, man. All right? So you better repent. Luke 13 and 3. And there's more precepts I could bring out through the spirit. But I'll be the the point. Luke 13, verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. If you don't repent and get right in these last days, you're going to die. You're going to taste that fire. Whether you die of a famine on this side when the whole start breaking loose and oh, chaos, you get you know tortured or chopped up, whatever case may be, you still get judged and brought to that fire, man, if you're not um, ready in the book of life. You see that? This shall be the plague, man. That fire is coming. You always get the book of Joel. Go to you know them not breaking their ranks, going to the missiles, all right. But that fire is man. Listen, Ezekiel as well is another one. Out of Lord they gonna leave it there and melt you, all right. So people will get melted in these last days. You see, but I believe at the point I pray was edified. Let's give all praise to our power. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rechak, Kudash, Dabuani, said the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation. Let's gather the broad pushing his truth and sincerity. Without a mercy, Shalom. Wow, blah, 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 shalom.